So what I have here is my brand new Ego Edger. So I bought this over a year ago and it was still in the box. I bought it when Home Depot was getting rid of all the Ego line and had it all on clearance. And Lowe's, of course, has since picked them up. But this is the one device that I've had, <laughs> this Ego, that actually failed as soon as I got it out of the box. And of course, it's got no warranty. Of course, the power head's in good shape. I even used it on something else, so it's good. So I believe the problem is in the gearbox side here where the miter gears are. I think I can hear it skip like the teeth are grinding a little bit. So I'm just going to throw it up on this tool car and let's take it apart and look at it right quick. Just going to loosen up these two here. And by the way, this is a four millimeter, four millimeter hex wrench or Allen wrench. We loosen up the two on the clamp and then this one here holds it like a little pin. I'm not going to take it all the way out, just enough to let it slide just a little bit more. And there we go. It's just got a hole there for a lineup. And our shaft's in very good condition. It is brand new. Let's see if we see anything inside here where the gearbox is. And the spline looks great. It's a seven spline, as all Ego stuff seems to be. But we do see here, I know it's tough on camera. See how wide that snap ring is? See, it should be in a groove so it's to pushed up. And that's most likely our only problem. The longer snap ring pliers like this are very handy, but these are too big. I had the large ones because I was working on my Honda front wheel bearing recently, like so. When you go to take the hub off, you have a big snap ring to take off for the bearing. But anyway, those would have been great if they were smaller. These are my small ones, and unfortunately, they don't reach down in there. So you need to be able to reach about an inch and three quarters down. And you only have just a tad bit bigger than a three quarter inch opening. So rather than buying some special tool, I already had these long reach needle nose. And I put them on the belt sander and just narrow the nose a little bit more so I can reach in there and grab that snap ring. I know you can't see it, but it felt like it popped right in the groove. But I'm gonna take a five eight socket here and slide down and just try to catch the snap ring itself and not the bearing and just make sure it is seated. This of course is a miter gear setup like here in the top right. Found this image on mechanical booster and it's gonna be a very similar setup of course. So if that snap ring is not seated, those gears are just naturally gonna push back, push away from each other. So I believe that's what was happening. And, and as you can see here, the snap ring is seated. You can tell that you don't see as much of the snap ring, obviously, sticking out. So I believe that's all it was to this. It spins nice. The bearing feels really good. So let's go ahead and just slide the tube back in and get the shaft lined up. I'm going to have to open up these clamps a little bit more right here. And now to slide right in, those washers kind of hold you back there too. And once we start sliding in, make sure we line up our hole with the bolt that secures it. Start it with our fingers so we don't force it through the aluminum, of course. And once it's started in easy, we can run it down. That's got it secure. We'll clamp it down. We should be good to go. As you can tell, that is brand new. It don't even have any dirt on it. It edged for about 10 inches and it quit. That sounds a lot better. At this time, I don't know if this will be a common or a very uncommon issue. Just thought we'd share the video right quick because a lot of people may be in the same boat as me and bought them on clearance and come to find out later they don't work. So this might be a very common factory issue where the snap ring is not seated properly. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll have some links in the video description of some example snap ring pliers such as this that might reach in there very well and get this job done if you're in need of some. And if you don't want to go that route, I'll share a link of some similar pliers that I had, just a long nose mini precision pliers. I had the cobalt set that I got from Lowe's, but this is an example set by Speedworks if you're interested as well. I'll have other links down in the video description of interesting things that I found helpful on my electronics workbench. 
Any of those links you click on are affiliate links and they help support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching and God bless.